please subscribe. The updated 2019 Nissan Altima will hit US showrooms in only a couple of months. It doesn't radically shake up the automaker's moderate size car equation, however there are various immense enhancements to discuss, and ostensibly the greatest advance forward is found in the engine. That is the reason I as of late wound up at Nissan's Arizona Technical Center only outside of Phoenix, on a flat out scorcher of a mid-year day. In front of the official first test drive in the not-so-distant future, I had the opportunity to test the Altima's refreshed motor range from in the driver's seat of a trio of nearly done models. Presently, in light of the fact that Nissan wouldn't like to demonstrate its entire hand at this time, realized that while I drove three forms of the 2019 Altima out in Arizona, I'm just right now permitted to discuss the powertrains. In case you're searching for words on ride and taking care of, inside Solace or locally available tech, you'll need to remain tuned. Meanwhile, this powertrain review gives a strong early introduction of Nissan's next mid-sizer. Nissan's 2.0-liter KR20 depth VC turbo is another motor, yet this isn't the first occasion when we've seen it. Sister Mark Infinity as of now utilizes this powertrain in the QX50 hybrid, and in that application, it's truly extraordinary. The VC remains for variable pressure. As opposed to a settled pressure proportion, the VC turbo motor uses a multi-connect crankshaft plan that can modify the cylinder's stroke dependent on throttle input, bringing about different pressure levels running from 8.0.1 to 14.0.1. A low pressure proportion is better for power conveyance, while a high proportion enhances generally speaking proficiency. For the drive, this implies on request control when you require it, however far superior mileage while cruising. In the 2019 Altima, the VC turbo motor produces 248 pull and 273 pound-feet of to work when running on premium fuel. You can run 87 octane gas in this motor for a little execution punishment, that's 22 less drive than the 2018 Altima's normally suction 3.5 liter V6, yet an expansion of 22 pound feet. In the interim, in the engine of the Infiniti QX50, the VC turbo motor is appraised at 268 torque and 280 pound feet. The full 273 pound-feet of to work is conveyed as low as 1,600 revolutions per minute, and stays solid as far as possible up to 4,800 revolutions per minute. This is a gigantic enhancement over the V6, which had a direct to work develop until the point that its maximum conveyance purpose of around 4,400 revolutions per minute. The outcome is faster, smoother speeding up, the VC turbo motor running its 8.0-1 pressure proportion under full throttle. Be that as it may, when you lift off and drift, or voyage under light, consistent throttle application, the VC turbo motor expands its pressure proportion. This implies, while yield is basically a wash between the new 2.0T and the 3.5-liter V6, the 2019 Altima should drag no less than 25% better mileage. That is a major win. The turbo motor has a note for the measure of mid run punch. Ground surface the throttle from 40, 60 or 80 miles for every hour results in moment quickening, the consistently factor transmission easily kicking down to keep the tack needle planted in the core of the power band. A mid-light or substantial increasing speed stacks, the motor conveys a smooth use of intensity with the fitting sound quality, not very boisterous, and unquestionably not upgraded. There's no slack off the line, and no bizarre, peaky turbo minutes all through the rev go. A great deal of that is on account of the refined ceaselessly factor transmission. There are worked in ventures to emulate the vibe of a conventional programmed, and certain Altima models will have directing wheel mounted or shifters for the individuals who need to change the phony gears themselves. Left to its very own gadgets, I'm glad to report Nissan's most recent CVT doesn't have that exemplary high rev ramble. All in all, general levels of powertrain commotion, 
vibration and brutality are unfathomably enhanced over the current V6 controlled Altima. In spite of the fact that it's actually a remainder motor, the normally suctioned 2.5-liter PR25DD inline four flaunts various astute upgrades. Truth be told, about 95% of the 2.5-liter motor's parts are new. Nissan engineers say their key targets were to smooth out the task of this power plant, refining a significant number of its internals to take into consideration enhanced execution and mileage. The outcome is a motor that produces 188 drive and 180 pound-feet of torque, increases of 9 and 3, separately, over the 2018 Altima's 2.5-liter plant. Official mileage figures aren't accessible right now, however Nissan says the powertrain's refinements should net a 1 mile per gallon enhancement in the joint efficiency cycle. Not an immense advance forward, but rather surely an accomplishment. The huge news for Altima 2.5 purchasers is the accessibility of all-wheel drive. It's the equivalent AWD framework found in the Rogue and other Nissan vehicles, with an electromechanical grasp that withdraws the back pivot except if it's required. The Altima will basically keep running as a front-wheel drive auto more often than not. Nissan just expects to mate all-wheel drive with a 2.5-liter motor for the time being. However the automaker is contemplating the business case for offering this with the VC turbo powertrain. It's clearly feasible, as proven the QX50, however isn't as of now arranged right now, since Nissan trusts AWD will be most helpful on the more esteemed situated Altima trims. In the engine of a most base spec Altima, the 2.5 liter motor's additional refinement is promptly perceptible. It never sounds buzzy, unforgiving or coarse, it's consistently factor transmission without orally disappointing attributes. There's all that could possibly be needed capacity to get the Altima up and moving with good pace. A few spells of backing off and speeding back up uncover adequate mid-go push, and the simplicity of quickening from 40 to 80 miles per hour feels fitting for a medium-sized vehicle like the Altima, proceeding onto the parkway won't be a battle. The VC turbo motor might be the most mechanically progressed powertrain in the Altima lineup, yet in all actuality, the greater part of vehicles sold will utilize the 2.5-liter motor. All things considered, while it is anything but a fresh out of the plastic new powertrain, its enhancements result in a more refined mean, something clients at passage level value focuses will without a doubt appreciate. The 2019 Altima will touch base in the second from last quarter of this current year, stay tuned for a full first drive audit at some point around October. Nissan will offer the vehicle in S, SR, SV, SL and Platinum trims, and there's even an extravagant edition one. All Altima models will accompany an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment framework with the most recent Nissan Connect programming, and both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will be standard. Higher-end SV, SL and Platinum trims will likewise accompany Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist framework, which can hold the auto in a solitary interstate path, cooperating with versatile journey control. In the event that whatever remains of the 2019 Altima bundle is as pleasantly executed as its powertrains, expect amazingly, one more furiously focused offering from Nissan in the fair size vehicle space.